First of all, good afternoon, uh, one more time. Welcome to our uh, motivational speech today. And uh, I'm not going to take you much of your time. Uh, and I think today we have five candidates uh, who will speak about uh, several topics. And uh, every candidate will be marked uh, according to five criteria. First, uh, first of all, uh, confidence. You will be uh, marked uh, for your confidence and the second one is grammar range uh, and the third one is word choice it means like what you will write and the third one is fluency and coherence I think everybody knows what is fluency and what is coherence and the uh, last one is pronunciation Hello everyone, my name is Sato today I will be one of your speakers uh, today I will I gonna tell you about sites and what you need. That's why I have chosen the topic of time. I know every one of you is aware of this time, but today I will give such facts that you haven't heard before. Um, by the way, every uh, uh, words have been have written in Uzbek because I want you to understand me. Okay, so let's start with description. If I ask you about uh, time, you might say that time is a um, measure of physics or mass or time consists of second, minute, hours. As for me, I will give such facts, description. Time is treatment. Time is defined. Uh, the same old period. Uh, repeat. Despair. I will use that description um, as plan of my project. You will be sure during my presentation. I haven't got enough time. Uh, that's why uh, um, I have chose subjects because most of you study another subjects. You know, uh, um, time is contact with everything. Uh, maybe they call another name, but the central point is always time. First of all, physics. Just imagine the car which is being driven on the road and you can increase the speed of car to infinity. Do you know what will happen? You can find the car because the thing which is, be, which is moving in infinity isn't visible for people. Before I start my next one example, I have a question for you. Do you want to eat that apple? Yes, of course, because it's very delicious. But today is uh, 5th of December and that apple is looking like very delicious. But after 5 months it will look like approximately that. And I think you, no one will eat that because it's very awful. But it doesn't matter the outlook of apple. The important thing is that the, its weight. After 5 months and plus the change of ma uh, weather, that apple will lose about 45% of its weight. It means all of the measures of math or physics aren't um, unique and permanent, only time is. Okay, so if time is permanent, for what we separate time? Uh, I have got approximate examples that's internet, relaxing work and education. And we find time for all of them, uh, especially internet, but what about um, Education. In this situation, we have got only excuses because we think about only to enter university or graduate university. And when we want to study hardly uh, the problems like that, um, hobbies, bad habits, uh, uh, games disturb us. Okay, so you, you can ask me what will happen if we study hardly. Look at chart. The chart of to spend time uh, for education. If we study um, hardly, we will sure achieve our victory. And if you look at chart attention, you can see there was a big decrease there. I call it despair. I describe the situation with that picture. I have got a large sentence. I just say don't give up because. Your victory is more close than you expected from time to time. Um, next one is my personal solution. 
if you, it's just Jimmy. If you aren't uh, um, strong or you haven't got interest for education, you just have to dream. Uh, what will you have to dream? As for me, I dream about that. Home, travels, famous city like China, India, or city of love, friends, and with my family to make it. And also I want to do new activities on, or work with good colleagues. But dreaming isn't enough to achieve your victory. You have to turn dream into goal. That's why you have to walk up the staircase. And first one is dream, intent, act, interest, display and goal. And you have to know uh, every of them has got their own obstacles, like that. But if you are strong, then obstacles won't be a problem for you. That's the end of my, my presentation. Thank you. Um, hello everyone. Today, uh, my name is Wangwe and today I wanna ask, uh, I wanna give you some questions. For question, first question is, do you like sell? Do you like sell? The work experience is a synonym for self space. If you like to sell and be good at it, you will always be your mind. Seven days a week, every week, uh, seven days a week, all the time. I mean, if you really want to start in a company, you should fight. Uh, you should working hard. And now I want to uh, say you some reasons why business failed. Uh, so, if I give you some advice how to run business correctly, you ain't gonna believe me uh, or something. So it's up to you. Uh, so why business fail? First reason is uh, no marketing, no need too much competition, poor customer service and the wrong people. Why is it important to choose the right colleague? Because great things in business never done by one person. They are done by team of people. So I think uh, everyone should do what makes a great. Uh, and I also advise you, do what makes you great. Don't whatever you like. And you know we grew up so quickly. I see people every day that say, I can't do this, it's so hard. But when it looks you ain't gonna do this, keep going. Make an effort, not excuses. Success is what comes after you stop making excuses. And maybe it's going to be hard, but hard doesn't mean impossible. And, and if you really want to be a successful person, you should make a ton of mistakes. I advise, you, I advise you learn from other people's mistakes, don't successful stories. And if you learn, you know how dealing with such kind of problems come. And the next question is, why you think, why other people should help you? In this life, nothing is easy and nothing is free. And don't think like everyone else don't, and don't live like everyone else. Be extraordinary and live everyone with passion and wonder. Life is too short to wake up in the morning with regrets. Uh, be the line when all others play in she. Be the, be the leader when all others follow in your line. Don't cry over the past, it's gone. Don't stress about the future, it hasn't arrived. Live in the present and make it beautiful. Each day is it may be your last or not. Thank you very much. Here are seven things I need to tell you about life. 
Number one, life is not meant to be so serious. Make time for fun, for joy, for play. Alan Watts once said, this is a real secret of life to be completely engaged what you are doing in the here and now. And instead of calling it work, realize it is play. Don't trust anyone that tells life has to be so. Don't believe anyone that tells there is no time for fun, joy, laughter in every or any day. When you are young, life is nothing but fun. The important lesson most of us still need to learn is that life is not meant to be so serious. We can easily forget that our life do not last forever. You, like all other humans, will die. When we remind ourselves of certain days, we can start taking everything a little less seriously. Most people are struggling so hard to get the job, to get the extra money, so they can increase people who really don't like, or those people who don't care about them, or about any of any day, because they are doing the same thing. Searching that one machine. Maybe we don't need to stress so much about our way. Our state, baby. For what is the people saying? I challenge to look at life not a struggling or a strain or a destination, what is somewhere else needing to be reached. Then, whether or you, you get the big house or the fancy car, it won't matter who we'll it. Three seeing money can never buy joy, peace, and passion for life. Create a life that feels good the inside. One just wanna look good on the outside. Thank you. Uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Savara. Now I'm gonna talk about motivation short, but uh, why the motivation speech? Are you ready?
what about if this was your last minute to leave? And you know, uh, uh, it sounds a little crazy, but let's see. If you had never chance to say goodbye to your family, to your friends, and you may be able to do not say to your closest one that, uh, or there are some situations you didn't forgive someone, and maybe you didn't say I'm sorry. But communicating these kind of things will give you a chance to leave today for not knowing tomorrow is gonna come. Now I'm gonna ask you, what would you do if this was your last day and last minute? Who would you call? Who would you say thank you? Who would you forgive? Thank you. to be a uh, failure. That's why uh, I know we are also uh, not perfect, but we will do our best in order to judge you fairly. That's why uh, we need, with your teachers, we need some time to discuss uh, who was the best and who would give that, who would take that. We have first, second and third places. The first place is, uh, the first one is Aziza, the second is Shahzoda. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, thank you for your participation. First of all, for your uh, respect 